This is a test. This is a test. This is your captain speaking, Captain No Account of the Mosaic Deluge. And the captain's blog on the 30th of July in the year 2010. We're in dry dock here at the base of Mount Trashmore in the New Bohemia section of that unloved town. And uh, I'm trying to get my bearings, trying to lose my sea legs, so to speak. Um, we've had quite an adventure for the last uh, few years. And uh, now it's over and I don't quite know what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm somewhat of a celebrity here. Everybody recognizes Noah. Oh, that's the captain. That's Captain Noah. He's the one who went to Venezia. He's got the, uh, you know, he's famous for one something or another. I think he's a survivor of some sort. Yeah, they all know something about the story, but they don't know anything about me. They don't know that I was an, an artist before all that happened. I, 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 had a, I was perfectly happy, and then the Admiral called down from the ship's uh, pilot's house and said, Noah? I want you to build me an ark. Build you an ark? I didn't know anything about building an ark. I had to learn everything from scratch. I had to, I had to learn how to drywall. I had to, you don't know how many coats of white paint that thing took. I was, uh, I, I, I worked, I worked. I had to learn how to talk to animals. I had to convince them to come on board. And I had to convince my family to come on board and close things up, bring their, bring their possessions, anything they could put along with me and because I, I had to convince them the flood was going to happen. And then it did happen. 40 days, 40 nights. Believe me, you don't want to spend 40 days and 40 nights with a shipload of animals, two of every kind. We're talking hippopotamuses here. But we made it. We, we, we landed safely on the peak of Trashmore and then opened the porthole and sent the bird out. The pigeon flew the coop, but it didn't come back. Everything, the coast seemed to be clear, and uh, so we opened the door and put out the gangplank, and <laughs> you know, the way they tell it, the animals just scurried all over uh, and uh, wanted to go down the gangplank and uh, multiply and repopulate the earth, but the, they didn't want to even leave the ship. Nobody wanted to leave the ship. The, the place was just devastation. Everywhere you looked, there was just, it's just, just gray. Everywhere you looked, every tree, every, every blade of grass was covered with, with gray muck and dirt. And no one ever talks about what happened after the flood. Oh yeah, the rainbow. Oh yeah, they built an altar in Thanksgiving. It wasn't anything like that. We, we, we the animals didn't want to leave. They, they, they were afraid. They didn't recognize any, anything. And then finally the rains would come and then, then they'd get more scared. They wouldn't want to leave the ship because they think the flood was coming again. Why should they leave? I mean, we were feeding them where they were. Where finally we stopped feeding them. They kind of, rains washed away a little of the leaves and then the grass started to grow like weeds. And before you know it, they slithered off and, and scurried away. And the rest of us, we had to live in the ark for seven years. We didn't have an. There was no place to live. There was no place that wasn't mucked out. It was just. It was just total devastation. And you spent every day, every day in the in the stuff, just 
just trying to clean it up, trying to trying to squeegee this off, having lunch at the Salvation Army truck in the street, and and it was just a mess. You, I thought it would never end. I thought we would never get back to normal, and we haven't got back to normal because there's 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 nobody, there's nobody, there's nobody to be normal with. I mean, uh, I mean, they everybody just drifted away. Oh, that's that's it's a myth that everybody died in the flood. A lot of people died in the flood, but 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 there's plenty of people who who in little pockets of suburbs and Utah, places like that, people, there's not enough water to cover the earth. Not, not nearly enough. And so there was plenty of, there were plenty of survivors, but they didn't want to hear about the, uh, they didn't want to hear anymore about the flood. They didn't want to hear about the victims. They just, they just wanted to get on with their lives. And we did too, but we, we didn't have any lives to get on with. There was, there was nothing. There was nothing. There was money. Yeah, lying around, but who? What you going to spend it on? There's nothing. There's nothing. Everything was ruined. We just uh, we just tried to make a go of it. And I I, I was an artist before the flood. I just thought I'd I'd go back to being that. But but uh, you couldn't. You you couldn't. Everything was changed. I, who are you going to tell stories to? The, there's no one. I mean, everybody who's been on the boat with you, they don't want to hear your stories. They heard them all. There's nobody else around to to listen to your pathetic little your pathetic little semi autobiographical performance tale. So so you just uh, you just do what you can. I mean, you're without resources. I mean, we had the ark, yeah, but it was a shipwreck. I mean, it was a mess. It was just filled with pizza boxes and jigsaw puzzles. There was nothing nothing you could do with with that. I mean, there was a there were, like I say, there was there was money. There was money available for, uh, yeah. Uh, there was money for uh, uh, flood recovery. There was money for um, job creation. Oh yeah, job creation. But I didn't have a job. I had a mission. I I just wanted to get back to 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 doing my art and Jonah. Jonah has this bright idea that we can rehabilitate the uh, the arch and make it into a cruise ship of some sort where it can kind of uh, take passengers around the world. And I just don't. I, I, I'm just not sure. I I I, I want to I do it. I I I don't want to. I don't want to be a captain anymore. I just want to be a steward. I want to. I want to. I want to work jigsaw puzzles in the passenger lounge. I want to, I I want to sing sea chanties at the, around the grand piano, and uh, I just want to start over and and uh, go back to go back to where I once belonged. The fame, I don't care about it. I, you, you know, you can't be an artist these days. You can't you, you can't make artworks. You have to have projects. Everybody's got a project, and it can't be simple either. I mean, you can't have a studio. No, sir. Andy Warhol's factory would look like, would look quaint. You got to have a fabrication plant, preferably in China or someplace like that. You got to have a multinational uh, board of directors and whatever. You know, a, a think tank uh, in Watermill, Lang Long Island. You got to have. You you got to have. Uh, I don't know what you got to have, but I don't have it, and I'm not going to get it either. I just want to. I'm not interested in fame. I don't want to live forever. I'd be happy just to reach eight or nine hundred years. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna change my name. I'm gonna move someplace where nobody knows me, and uh, start performing in a different style. And this is a test. This is only a test. <laughs>